Well, the, the, the Bayern defence isn't... Uh, I know Liverpool have had to shuffle things around a bit. The Bayern defence isn't exactly watertight either, Liam, and they're coming up tonight against, well, the, the three incredibly talented footballers. Well, that's right, and, and any team is going to struggle to play these three. You've got Salah, who usually starts on the right, Mane starts on the left, and Firmino down the middle, but they chop and change, they switch. They've got great interplay between them. Mane is brilliant at beating players. Um, he's in a rich vein of form at the moment. He's the one that's probably scoring the most goals. This is Salah not putting a chance away, which is very unusual for him. Uh, uh, setting Robertson up, coming, coming down on the left. They're just electric, all three of them. And, you know, this Bayern team has conceded 26 goals in the league so far this season. They only conceded 28 in all of last season. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine they're going to have their problems uh, against these lot. Uh, uh, Hummels is, uh, is, 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 uh, is slow. Uh, the lad beside him tonight, Sule, is a young lad. Is he going to cope with these, the, the standard of this player? Uh, these players, I'm not too sure they will. I think Liverpool have got a great chance, as George was saying there, to really have a two, maybe three goal lead tonight going into the away leg. Uh, simply because of these guys. Look at that, Salah, top corner against Roma last year. And, uh, you know, if he doesn't get injured in that, in that f final last yeah. year, and we know what happened, but if he doesn't get injured, you know, they'd be possibly defending the, uh, the Champions League this year. I think they were very unlucky to lose him in that final. Yeah, um, with what? They're up against tonight, the Bayern defence, and, and you've touched on this already. Like, you feel, Liam, that they've been conceding some bad goals. Yeah, you know, in, even in the qualifying rounds, the chances they've conceded, then they haven't got uh, a, a, a set team at the back. They've, they're, they're, they've had Boateng at the back here. Uh, even Neuer is looking unsettled compared to what he used to be. This is Boateng getting done for pace, uh, and this is against Ajax. And now Ajax are not one of the best teams in, in, in Europe. They used to be, but no longer. And they're creating chances here. And this is in this is in Munich as well. So if they can create chances, I'm just thinking, what are these three, Salah, Mane, and uh, and Firmino, going to do to them tonight? You know, I have a feeling that they could destroy them. And I hope I'm right. Uh, Ajax. Good goal against them. Uh, I really think they have have weaknesses at the back. Uh, giving a Boateng, giving a penalty away tonight. He's not playing, but uh, they've got a young lad coming in to take his place. So it's a real problem for them, and I think Liverpool might really go to town on them. Yeah, like Hummels is. He's he played for Klopp at Dortmund. He's a very experienced defender, but. You know, you put those three up against him and Sula, as Liam says, neither of them are quick. He's, he's very experienced at this level, but he's not having the best of seasons by, by his standards at there all. He is. Um, and this the central defensive partnership, as Liam has said, has changed and they lack pace, which is the key thing. You, 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 you can't compensate for that. So whether they, they, they can't play a high line because they leave too much space behind them. If they go to press Liverpool too much, um, if they leave themselves exposed in any way to the Liverpool front three and their pace, they're going to get beaten. I and as well, they, they, conceded a, they conceded an own goal 15 seconds in to their game on Friday night. So you question as well their, their, their concentration, or are, they, are they switched on as they should be? So they have a load of problems in that defensive area. I think German football is actually in decline. Uh, I think we saw their performance in the World Cup there. It's very, very unusual to see them go out like they did. Mm. And uh, I just don't think they have the players that they once had. Yeah, and I suppose when you look at uh, who's been produced, I know we, we, we've been talking about Kimmich for a while, Kevin, that, you know, uh, his relationship with Guardiola, but they, they got him from another club in Germany, and, OK, he's I think he's 24, but he, he spoke yesterday. He's still haunted yeah. by what happened at the World Cup. Yeah, he is. He was actually going back and talking about Guardiola again as well. I know yeah. it was probably asked in, in a question, but sure. it, it's interesting to see them always harping back to, the, to Guardiola. Um, all the players seem to talk about him in interviews. I know they would get asked about it, but you think, move on now. We have a new manager. There are two managers on from Guardiola, but Kimmich is an excellent player. Right back, he's got them t over 10 assists this season. I think he's got 11 assists. He's uh, talked about as the best right back in Europe. Um, you know, it'd be interesting to see how you know he's getting up that line with Nabry, how Robertson will deal with them two when they combine. But um, you know, he's he's a bright light for German football. Um, I didn't see it in the World Cup. I have to say, mm. Kevin, I thought he had a very average World Kimmich? Cup. Kimmich, yeah, mm. yeah. So 
I think he'll be up against... It's a real test. We'll see how good a right-back he is tonight up against these three.